please welcome to the stage, Gene Wright. The mom test is a way to ask questions of a potential user of your technology, even in a way that your mom can't lie to you about how great your invention is. How would you feel if you were in progress and working on a project and you learned that your basic assumptions were wrong? What if you learned of a simple test that you could use to really understand the problems facing your customers? What if you learned that your invention, your project, could actually save the lives of people who before your invention would not have survived? That's exactly what happened when my colleagues and I, Dr. Wu Zhi Zhang and Dr. Zheng Li of the Milwaukee School of Engineering, were working on our National Science Foundation i grant. That's where we learned about the mom test. The mom test has three basic rules. Number one, talk to your customer or your potential customer about their work, not your idea and not your invention. Two, talk about real experiences, not your assumptions or some kind of prediction of the future. And three, talk less and listen more. To prove your hypothesis, you have to get out of the lab and do the mom test. Our basic hypothesis was that we felt there was a problem with the human blood supply. Our product was engineered red blood cells, or artificial blood. We were in Austin at a National Science Foundation i workshop. We were surprised and dazed when our lecturers, our instructors, told us that for the afternoon, we had to get out of the building and prove our hypothesis. We had to go talk to customers, potential customers. We had to do the mom test. And then we had to report on our findings the next day. We first went to an urgent care center. And we walked into the urgent care center and spoke to the nurse and said, we'd like to speak to the doctor about how you use blood. Who's hurt? Who's bleeding? No one. No one's hurt. We just want to talk to the doctor. We're, we're National Science Foundation researchers, and we're working on a project. The doctor heard us and said, ah, I have some time. We have no patients right now. Um, as long as we don't have anybody walk in that needs me, uh, we'll talk. So he, we, we asked the question, we said, how do you use blood in this clinic? And he said, we don't. And of course, we're like, aha, a blood supply problem. Our hypothesis is proven. We have something to talk about tomorrow. And then he went on to tell us, no, we don't use blood here because we can't type. We can't type a patient's blood. We kept talking to him doing the mom test, having the conversation, and we learned that he was an army combat surgeon. He had been deployed many times to Afghanistan. And so we learned that we could also talk to him about the military uses of blood as well. Rule one of the mom test is listen to their experience. Listen to your potential customer's experience. Ask questions about actual things that happened, not about their guesses or their assumptions or yours. He told us a story of a motorcycle rider that had an accident right near his clinic. And he had gone out, and there was the rider had lost a lot of blood and nearly lost his leg. He really shared his frustrations that he had a surgical suite right in his, right in his clinic, and he had, he had all the training that he needed, but he couldn't do anything about replacing the blood because he couldn't type the blood. All he could do was tourniquet the leg and put him on flight for life, where he knew at the hospital they'd be able to replace the blood that was lost. Listening to his experiences in Afghanistan, he told us that the military has plenty of blood as long as they get to the hospital. Even in field hospitals, plenty of blood. Our hypothesis was not being proven about supply. We had to learn and we did about his experience doing the mom test. We had to do a minimum of 100 mom tests for our grant. 
still believing the military was a viable opportunity for our, for our product, we did some research and we learned that 62,000 units of red blood cells are used by the VA each year. We decided we need to talk to some more military personnel. We spoke to a U.S. Navy Special Forces paramedic. We asked him about blood use in combat, his experience as a paramedic. As you can expect, he told us some very real and horrific stories about blood in combat. Now, the mom test suggests that you don't talk about your product or your invention or your ideas until after you've learned from your potential customer or user. So as we were talking to him and we learned about these things that happened in combat, we shared that our product had no blood type. We shared that our product did not need refrigeration. We shared that our product could last a long time, could be stored. And the look on his face was surreal. He looked up, remembering, and he said, could, could our soldiers carry your, uh, your product in their pants pocket next to their tourniquets? And we said, sure. And then he was looking and he said, do you realize the number of people we could save with that product? We had just learned that our product could save lives on the battlefield. We also shared with him the idea that it could be used on the battlefield was, was fantastic and we wanted to know more. But we moved on, we learned and applied the idea that when you create value, you want to find a solution for a problem that doesn't exist, that white space we heard about this morning. We shared other things about our product and, our, um, and, and his experiences, but we needed to move on. According to the Red Cross, 36,000 units of red blood cells are used each day in the United States. Red blood cells are used for transfusions, for cancer treatments, emergencies, surgeries, and even senseless shootings in our streets. My son is a police officer, a SWAT officer, and a tactical paramedic. He carries a medical kit in front of his body armor. He carries no blood. Other first responders carry no blood, nothing in the ambulances because they cannot type blood. I mentioned before that we were in Austin. While we were in Austin, the senseless shooting of 14 police officers occurred. Five of those officers died. That's where tactical paramedics move into action, often while under fire themselves. The more we listened to first responders, the more we learned. The more we learned about the real problems facing our potential users of our product. We learned that our product had value in the streets. Save lives, potentially save lives, of people like my son. Using the mom test, we learned that our hypothesis was not proven but we learned about the real value of our invention, the potential real value. Rule one, talk about the customer's work and the customer's experience rather than our own. Connection with customers that teach us what we need to do to create value is the key thing. Learn from customers' problems by listening, not talking about their assumptions. Rule two, our curiosity will never be fully satisfied about the things that we're working on, the value we're trying to create. But we need to talk less and listen more. Rule three of the mom test. I've been innovating for nearly 40 years, engineering products for quite a while. I will never work on a project where I don't use the mom test. What about you? Thank you. <laughs>